Hello, folks. Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour. Now, I really want to get the career mode started, but I was kind of holding off, hoping that they'd bring out a patch so I can choose between one, two, three, or four rounds. I don't really fancy playing four rounds, and I don't really want to start doing the the little quick ones because that actually comes in as sort of random. You could be scoring pretty well, but then the simulated score could sort of screw you up type of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it. This should bring out a... Uh, a patch that's going to fix it eventually because a couple of people in the comment section said that they read on the EA forums it is a bug it was causing crashes apparently that's why they've taken it out and hopefully they will put it back in so I'm going to record the first round and I guess I'll have to play the second and third round without recording and then I'll record the fourth round and then hopefully they'll bring out a patch to sort it and then I can just probably do maybe one round probably the final round or whatever, stuff like that. So let's get this started because I've been wanting to dive into the career mode and I've been trying to hold off just for this. Why is that all in red? It's weird. All right, so we're actually at Whistling Straits. Uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So let's get it started. It's another cracking course. Was it over a thousand bunkers or something on this course, isn't that? If I remember right. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of the Ryder Cup in 2021, Whistling Straits, it's live first round coverage of the season opening event, the Wisconsin Open. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. Okay, so only what? Minus five was the top there, I've seen. So hopefully we play pretty well. It's a beautiful looking course though, isn't it? Oh, what did you, did you watch it today? The Masters, did you see them trees falling down? Holy hell, that must have been scary. Look, I've got a new shaft and all that on my driver. I've got some new new gear on as well. Looking pretty smart. <laughs> Spent a lot of my money. <laughs> that I got for kind of free anyway, so. Right, what have we got? Um, where are we? Okay, first hole was 419 yards, par four. Let's just smash one up there. Oh, you hear the cameras clicking away there as well. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody got hurt. Can you imagine if that fell on somebody? Can you imagine the claims? That's a good one to start safely in the fairway to get the tournament underway. Now, I don't know if they have to sign a waiver when they sort of get their invitation type thing. Because you can get hit by golf balls and all that kind of stuff as well, can you? Professional journey. Corn Ferry Tour. It's a good time to bring okay. in Arthur Nota Begay the third, four times a winner on the PGA Tour, and he cut his teeth on this very circuit. Uh, Nota, uh, what do you remember about that time? And I have a sneaking suspicion one round in particular is, is going to pop into your mind. Well, Rich, uh, yes, a great memory for me. Oh, that was nice. 59 in the history of the Corn Ferry Tour, which is a, a huge. Um, positive memory in my mind and uh, what it did tell me in terms of my career and what it meant moving forward was the fact oh that come you on putting have to be aggressive right to i'm not going to get angry but There's see this no putting it is really excuse my french big step pissing me shot. off they need to sort it that was definitely breaking left to right and it went straight level par and Matt Putton's leveled up quite a bit now. So it's not to do with that. Frank, here at Whistling Straits, bold is beautiful. And this oh, second look at Seagull. is certainly bold. Uh, the birdie. Bold, and if you can hit a long one down the left side. Get those bunkers. A good view to this green, but believe me, if you miss left or right, well, you're going to find the sand. Okay, second hole, 612 yards, par five. Right, power drive is on. Let's go, baby. Oh, we hit the perfect downswing there. Another good tee shot for him to start the round. As he yeah, look at that, 303 carry now. So I'm hitting some good distances. 333, four, uh, 334 total. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Oh, we're going to get on the green. Nice. 
place this ball any better down the left half of this fairway, opening up that green. Oh, I think to give that's probably going to go too far. So I'm just going to go with a normal approach with the three wood. Because everything's just feeding right to the left. So if I can hit it just onto the green, it should feed down towards the hole. Let's try that. Come on, get up there. Okay, no, oh no, no. <laughs> That's why I took off power bloody shot and pulled it back a little bit. I didn't want it to run all the way through. I thought it was going to pull up a little bit there, but it didn't. Oh, wrong way. Spinner, let's go. We'll try that little spinner thing again. See if we can get this to work. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, crap. Sometimes, I've tried it a few times. Sometimes I'll hit the, near the pin and it'll stop dead. Sometimes it'll go bloody rolling past like that. Right. Feet away. This looks virtually straight. A little bit right to left, I think. Oh, you son of a... I would score so well on this game if I could sort this putting out. I really could. That finished off for par. You were the second. And he'll stay at even par. Okay, so I've got to be minus five. On this golf course, it's the third, about 188 yards. Yeah, big green with uh, lots of uh, undulations and it moves the ball from that right side towards the left, towards uh, Lake Michigan. I need to turn uh, off my um, steam overlay again. The only reason I turned it on was to buy the, the Season Club pass on 2K23. Right, 22 feet down. Um, nine iron. Let's go with a little finesse shot. Oh, wrong one. A iron finesse. And we'll bring it back to about here, maybe. Let's try that. Start the follow through right through this oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Safely aboard. From close range, this 482. Tell you what was good watching today as well. That's Sam Bennett, that amateur. He is playing so well. Third place on the leaderboard after Friday. That's some good going. He was playing some fantastic shots. Third now, a beefy par four, Frank. And it's called glory. And make four here, give yourself a self five. And if you're watching today, did you see? <laughs> Jason Day put that in the water. As soon as you hit that shot, you could hear it. You were like, "Ooh, that didn't sound good." You hit it down the left side, but that's where you've got to be careful. Because if you hit it down the left, it's going to kick further left and cause a lot of problems. Right. Five hundred and ten. Right, we don't want to go down this left-hand side, it said. No, oh, let's just hit. Don't want the power drive, do we? Don't need the power drive. So we'll just hit a normal drive. Yeah, you hit the power drive. Oh, bloody hell, 3.3% 3, 3 .3 slow. You hit the power drive, it, it, there's a lot more room for error. Uh, that's it right could sway it left to right. Gravity take over here. That's gonna come on down the slope. Right, hopefully it stops there. Really well done. That'll do fine, lovely. Okay, ball's above the feet here. Four point nine percent above the feet. On the fourth here at Whistling Straits, it's challenging right. enough. You just have to find the fairway. Let's try about here. here. So still a chance of making a par or better. Wow, even though that was quite a lot above my feet. It didn't actually move the ball left at all. Even, I mean, there was only two mile an hour wind. I thought the slope would have been more than what the wind was. Um, let's just go with a putt here. No, oh, eight inches down, so we'll play it to about there, I reckon. Go, 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 go. Ooh. 
What a bad effort from that. So that's another par. A lot of pars. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. Yeah, no, we got birdie on the last hole. Cool. Now the fifth hole, Frank. What a par five! What strategic par five? It's almost the shape. That of the doesn't look very, snake. very um, good. With them the birds in the water. The conservative way to play this hole is just simply play it as a three shot up, tee shot down the left, second shot up there, and then just take the wedge in. Oh, look at that! Can you imagine how many people have put balls in the side of them hills. <laughs> <laughs> right, so a par five. I think, yeah, we've got the power drive up. I think I want to aim a little bit more to the left here, just in case. Oh, nice, we get perfect. Now, see what I mean? Look at my swing plane there. When I try to swing fast, that's what happens. That's why I'm not too bad no with hitting the 0.8%. The see, that idiot the other day said I can't, I'm, I'm always hitting it straight. That just goes to proof. If I swing too fast, I don't hit it straight. Left hand side here at the fifth hole, and most likely we're looking at three shots from here on in. But if you've been playing TGC since 2014, this swing is virtually the bloody same. So I've been playing this kind of, well, mind you, even back in what, 2004? Was it? Lynx? 2004, the original Xbox one? Sure, I, got, I got to number one in the world on that. <laughs> Not for very long, but I did. My name was actually Plum Stoned back then on Xbox. Right. Power drive, driver, no. Six hybrid. What the hell? Let's get to just approach shot. Three wood, five wood. Oof. Gonna have to go for it. Right, come on. Oh, not 0.5% slow. Is it going to make it? It's going to make it, but it's going to go right over the back again. See, I should have probably just laid up. The Knowing it's going to go right over the back, so I should have just laid up on the fairway. The Give me a nice shot in. Even with the tee shot or the second shot, but really, uh, pitch. Um. Spinner, right, I'm going to try this again, but we'll pull it back just a little tight. Oh, look at the butterfly. Get away. <laughs> I'm not going to hit it full. Go away. That's bugging the shit out of me. Beat it. Oh, I didn't want to hit it that, f that long, actually. I wanted maybe like a three-quarter swing there. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. And definitely not a lot to be concerned with. He just needs to take it straight back and straight Oh, it turned right at the end though. Nope. Oh, got a nice new pot of grip as well. Can't really see it, but... <laughs> that one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain... Another par on a par five. Going over the green in three. Set to go now at the sixth. It's a pretty short I might just start hitting little flop shots dog leg to the right. when I do that. Play it straight away. There's a series of bunkers down that left side, and then they really choke the fairway at about 320 yards. Course has done really well though, isn't it? Looks really nice. That'll do. Center of the fairway. So, now that it's been released, I hope a lot of you have now got your hands on it that didn't um, get the deluxe edition. I hope you're enjoying it. Like I said, it is a good game. I'm enjoying it. I don't know how long it's going to hold my interest for. Like I said, it does need some patches. I think the putting is very janky. Some of the physics are a little bit janky. Finesse. Let's go about here, shall we? Even though it's 10 feet down. Hold on. 4.2% below my feet. There we go. Let's aim it a little back there. Nice. We've got it perfect. 
little short there. Oh, and it spun back a bit. Stay on. Uh, it's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance, and now well, far from the best shot I've seen today. Is that in? Yes, nice. You betcha what a roll there. That is easy. Okay, two and up. I actually find these longer putts easier than like the five, six, seven feet ones. 221 yard par three. If you have a look at the way in which Pete Dye has designed this hole, you can see that the green shapes are way to the right. So if you can bring the ball in from the left, it's certainly yeah, a little fade shot. Maybe try that, eh? Finesse with a five word, no. Let's go finesse with a six hybrid. We'll bring it back just a little touch. Maybe about here somewhere. Let's try that. Still going over the back. Well, we should have put it right at the beginning of the green, I think. Over the back of the green. Right, flop shots are coming. Yeah, that's a lot easier. So much easier. And this will be a five foot putt here. Nice. Well That's in for part the part. seven. And he'll stay at two under. Onward to the 506 yard par four eight with over a hundred bunkers. The eight hundred bunkers. Every Look golfer's at them. nerves imperative to favor the left side to avoid a severe drop off to Lake Michigan and dunes and bunkers on the right. Okay, where are we going? Right up here. 496, it's almost 500. Let's go with a little bit of a power drive here. Get a little bit more distance on it. Yeah, look, I'm still trying to swing that a little bit quicker, but I still hit an 0.9%. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Okay, 181, nine feet down. So it's playing 178. We should be good. Maybe about here, maybe. Let's put a little bit of high loft on as well. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh yes, get in there. Uh, the Another birdie. Absolutely perfect there. Down Doing the not slope. bad. It's in for a birdie. And he's got it to three under now, just two back. Well, this hole, you have to be airtight, as they say, T2 green. And, and why do we say that? Because if you look ahead, about 100 yards short of the green, there's an enormous tree. Which and you see what I mean about these transitions? Do you not think they get annoying after a while? Critical so that you have the right angle to this ninth hole as we close out the front side. Okay. Click, click, click. The cameras. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. I think that'll do it. Even though it was a little bit slow and a little bit of under swing there. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. And it is a tough par four to finish this front nine. Being in this section of the fairway has opened up the green nicely. But right, I want to get on the green here, so. It snakes its way down the right hand side. A little bit more power on that one. Just past the pin. 
Or at least we're on the green. I think this is going to be straight. You've got a little bit coming right to left and a little bit coming left to right. This is pretty straight on. Oh, yes, here we go. Four under after the front nine. And he's going to go out in 32, four under par. Starting off the backside with a 391 yard par 410. Best to try and hug the left side of the fairway. You have to avoid the deep bunker on the right, which demands a 200. Oh, that tree yard might come into play a little bit. That should be okay. No, I'll tell you what, let's try that. Oh, that might run out into the rough. A little bit of uphill there, so it might stop it. It has. Nice. Just went into that nice first cut. Long tee shot. Fairway does get narrow down there. A little unlucky to get into the first cut. Yeah, but the first cut doesn't really do anything to you. I mean, look at that. 98 to 100%. Right. Eight feet up. Lovely. Get in now. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. He hasn't repaired his pitch mark. Look, you can see it on that second square. Oh, five under. Get in now. Right in. A birdie here at 10. Well, Frank, the 11th here at Whistling Straits is a monster par five. You can actually see the development of the character now that I've got like the skill sets, the spec sets, and different skill shots and things like that. Now, the more power, the more control. 645 yards. I don't care whichever way you cut it down. That's going to be three good shots. Forces you to hit driver off this tee. Ooh, over 600 yards. Might go a little bit of overswing here. 2.8% slow. Still carried over 300. Rolled out to what, 320? 330, it's not bad. Right, three wood. Well, I think we're gonna get on the green from here. With a bit of luck, it might hit that upslope and kind of stop the ball a bit quicker as well. Do we need a power approach though? Let's have a look. Punch, knock down, finesse. Approach. Do you know what? With that being way downhill, I reckon we'll get away with just a normal approach shot here. Go on. Oh! Heartbeat moment! Go on! This is what happened when I got my hole in one. I was like, no way! Get in now! Go, go, go! This is pretty cool, I must admit. Go, go, go. It better not miss. It's bloody missed. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to go in there, but what a shot. What a shot. A chance for evil three. Holy shit. Nice. Look at that. Birdie, 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 eagle. Yeah, th those heartbeat moments, you're like, oh, come on. Well, you think it's a snack. Green straight in front of you, points a little bit to the right, but just getting it and keeping it on the green. Okay. Oh, look at that. Cover a total distance 7,700, and I've finished one of the challenges. Right, what have we got here? 11 feet down. Um, 8 iron. But we don't want to. It's 11 feet down, so let's try about here. Oh, 
Oh, that's a bit too much, I think, is it? Is it going to hold? Oh, it has. Lovely. Oh, come on. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Now this for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole. Look at that. You see what I mean? Oh, how did that stay out to the left? You've seen the first few beads that were going pretty fast. Oh, my God. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. Yeah, it's beginning to rile me, this putting. Hopefully they can get it sorted. It's the only part of the game that I'm thinking at the moment is really not good is the pun just a gentle dog leg to the right or at least the whole moves to the right plus the slope of the fairway so you've got to wait okay 393 what's that 16 feet down as well right should be okay it's going to come off the left and run over to the right a bit i think yeah, that'll do didn't need to hit a massive powerful shot here Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Okay, looks like a little pitch into the green here, I reckon. A little over 80 yards here. Ooh, a little, little finesse second. shot. Bow below the feet. Oh, we get the perfect. Oh, a little bit short, though. Yeah, that, that lie, the lie doesn't seem to affect the ball very much. I mean, that was quite a bit below my feet there, and yet the three mile of wind sort of was stronger than what it was the slope. Oh, nice. Uh, the pace absolutely perfect there down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Yeah, see these mid-sized putts, I think they're better than them closer putts. All the way up to three. Now the par four, 14th and Frank, this is not about brute strength, is it? A bit of a head scratcher here. When you first look at it, you think you just pull out the driver, but it narrows up in the driving area. So really it's a layup up the tee. It's a nice course, isn't it? From there. Uh, driver. Do we need the driver here, actually? Where's the green's just over there? Because I might run out with the driver. <sighs> Oof, three woods a little bit. Yeah, we should be okay. We'll just hit it there. We'll just underswing it a little bit, I think. I oh, know, we hit it actually bang on. Should be okay, though. It's not got a lot of run on the, the fairway. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Perfect spot. Oh, look at that. I just finished the challenge. Fairway. Nice. Chapter complete. What do I get for that? I'll check my rewards after this just to see what we get for it. Right, um, what have we got? Finesse. Yep. And what have we got? Seven inches down. Got a little bit of wind against this, so we'll put it just over there, I reckon. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. Nine under. It's the best I've shot, I think. Frank, lots of sand and beach in view here at the 15th. So I don't yeah, shoot like this all the time, so don't start saying, oh, too easy, too easy. Yeah, this is this probably is the first time I've actually shot, shot something like this. Another nice little screenshot there. A beautiful course, man. Lovely. A bit, a bit hard on the old legs, I reckon, though. 
Was this a par 4? 513. Yeah, we've got the power drive up there. Oh, I hit a fast there. Look at that. Oh. Carry for 315 yards, though. That leaves us 185 to the green. Got the pin. Uh, seven iron. Take it back to the eight iron, maybe. Might get a little bit of run. Let's just try that. Oh, no run at all. I was thinking because I was using the finesse shots all the time, that that's probably what was stopping the ball so quick. So the greens are very receptible. Oh, bloody hell. Get in now. That was another nice putt. There's me slagging the putting down as well. But it, it seems to be, like I said, the shorter putts, the seven to maybe ten feet putts that's doing it. But you can also let this kind of going against the the break and stuff. That can become a real headache if you're off target. I was gonna take another nice screenshot there, but that bloody overlays come down at the bottom right there. I miss my F10, my Skycam to take nice screenshots. <laughs> A few new subscribers don't know what I'm on about. In PGA Tour 2K23 on the PC, we've got like a, a free cam. And I call it the Sky Cam and I can look around all the course, the whole course and, and take screenshots. That's how I get my, my, my thumbnails for my videos. Lovely. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. So this is probably a one-off, guys. I don't usually shoot like this. <laughs> right, what we got? Six hybrid going in there. Five iron. Think six iron. Maybe bring it in a little bit from... No, I think I'm going to go with a five iron. Bring it in a little bit from the, the right here. Just try and stay away from all that danger up there. I'll tell you what, I still haven't got over this little cold I had. I've still got this cough. I don't know if you can probably hear it in my voice. Right, I'm still a bit a raspy. Home and, two on the par five. and I keep muting my mic every now and again just to cough. Really annoying. Uh, pitch, 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 pitch. Yeah, we'll go with a little pitch shot, I reckon. That'll do it. That'll give us another birdie. this for another birdie ah, that a pure roll oh that is one hell of a back nine look at that 16. and he continues to build on this advantage sensational here on day one frank the 17th hole i don't like the sound of it it's called pinched nerve and pinched I'm not nerve sure I like the look of it 249 yards all sorts of trouble to the left well, trouble to the left, there are some 20 feet below the level of the green, so that's a no-go zone. And then, of course, on the right, there's a huge Okay, 282, 30 feet down. We'll go with... So Make sure you hit that tee shot a little further left. But believe me, there is a little bit of green in between. Um, six hybrid, maybe? We're still going to get a better run on the ball, aren't we? So let's try some, something like that. As long as we go on the green. Lovely sound off that little hybrid though. Yeah, maybe I just pulled that back just a little bit too much. 
too used to the ball, especially with the, the woods and, and the hybrids, just zooming right through the green. Right, let's see how we do here. Okay, left to right, right to left, more right to left, so I think it's more right to left than left to right. Try about there. Should start turning back in. That'll do it. Nice little lag putt. Yeah, I think he expected that to be a little quicker down the slope, but not too bad. And we'll take the par. No nice. There. That's a par here at 17. Okay, that's a bogey free round. That's probably what I'm like. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, don't speak too early. <laughs> I do that all the time. The then it goes. The 18. You know what? It up. Frank, it's looking like home sweet home, isn't it? Well, if you can right. get the what we got? That's one thing, but it still leaves an Puff four. Yeah, we should be okay. So. Just smack one up there. Oh, shh. Oh, shut up. I mean, that was only 0.6. I my head was a little bit of an underswing, but... Oh, look at that. Rough. Holy crap. 49, 68 to 78. We'll play it over here. Just to try and get it onto the fit. Oh, tell you what. Bloody helicopter coming over here, that. Let's play it down here, shall we? Yeah, should be okay. Lovely. That'll do it. Now, hopefully we can pitch up close. See what I mean? I said it at the end of that last hole. Bogey free round, and look what happened. Always happens. Right, we need to get this close and get the par. Come on. Basically guarantee the ball's going to get out. Now, four mile an hour wind going with us, so I don't need to put the ball behind the pin here. We should be okay with that. Nice, we've got the perfect. Lovely. That should be good. That should be right on it. Oh, ha, ha. Bogey free round. <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Okay, safely in. Oh, that's a hell of a score. Look at that back nine. And that's going to be an open seven under on the back nine. That's crazy. A sixty-one. A final look at the leaderboard here. Our featured golfer. Ah, I beat Noda Begay. He here is here at sixty-five, and it was a record for the amateurs in the Corn Ferry Tour. <laughs> right, I tell you what. Let's nip and see what I got for that reward for doing that challenge on. Why is that still all in red though? I don't get that. It looks like something's wrong when it's in red. I wish they wouldn't do that. Right, so let's snip over here. Let's have a look at the rewards. Chapter one reward. Let's see what we get. I'll be some gold coins, probably. Ah, only 500. What a load of crap. Right, so there you go, guys. That was the first round of the Corn Ferry Tour at Whistling Straits. I'll play the second and third round offline and then I'll record the fourth round and then hopefully they can get it fixed and I can only do maybe two rounds or just after the final round because four rounds is way too long. I'll get, it'll, it'll just bore me. It really would. Right, again, guys, anyway, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget, stay safe.